Good morning. Well, it's morning for me. And really, you just got to get, like, as soon as I turn the camera on, you up here. But prior, when I didn't have the camera on, you was like minding your own business. But anyways, good morning. Today is Sunday, January 23rd, 2021. And I am up. Um... I think it's around, let's see, 9 o'clock. Yep, it's 9 a.m. And I've been up for about an hour, but I laid in bed um, for a while, and I just <laughs> relaxed my mind. It is the weekend still, and so I didn't want to rush and jump up like I do every other day of the week. So, And yesterday, Saturday, was pretty hectic for me. It was a lot going on, a lot going on. Yesterday, a lot of work, schoolwork, like you saw in the previous vlog. If you haven't done so already, go check that out and subscribe to my channel. But it was just a lot. <laughs> and I didn't nearly get as much done as I wanted to. I mean, I got all the bills and errand parts done um, that I need to get done for yesterday. But I didn't get, you know, my paper and everything done like I wanted to. And so... Today's going to be that day. Today's going to be a day where I finish up my paper. Today's going to be the day where I go in and I do one of my assignments because one of them is posted now. I'm happy about that. And um, yeah, and then my extra credit assignment, that is to go for schoolwork. Um, then I have to figure out some things for my publishing company. It's a slow haul, but it's, it's, I pray and I know it's going to be worth it. So with that being said, we need to go in the kitchen and we need to make breakfast and get some coffee and my cutoff time today, I want to say is six to seven, six or 7 PM is my cutoff time to stop working so that That's about nine, ten hours to, aside from anything else I have to do to actually work. Can you not get up on me like that? Can I have a moment with the people? You always trying to lick somebody. Can I have a moment with the people? At least say good morning. You don't even care about the camera. But, um, yeah, so aside from anything else I have to do, that's a good amount of time to get done when I need to get done because I'm not leaving this house today. And I think that really messed me up having to get out the house and drive to locations and pay bills and stay in, stand in line and all that stuff. And my epic Starbucks, Starbucks sale, um, all of that, real, you know, limited them by the time I had to actually finish my paper and everything. And so... I'm not leaving the house today. She's not doing it. Mm -mm. Plus, we got bipolar weather. It was a little bit warmer yesterday. Now it's foggy outside. It looked like it's light, but it's like really overcast and foggy right now. So, say hi to the camera. Say hi. Oh. You just go stare at me. Huh. You just gonna stare at me. You're not gonna say hi to the people. Look. Hold on. Oh, she tried it. But yeah, that's the plan for today. We are gonna head into the kitchen now. This is what I'm gonna be wearing all day. I threw on some sweats, so I am out of my pajamas. I did throw on some sweats and a shirt, and then I just threw in my robe because there's a little chilly in the house. And, excuse me, I'm going to turn on just a little bit of air, I mean air, a little bit of heat for a minute just to warm the house up. Um, and, yeah, I have some house chores to do. I really need to clean the bathroom. I just don't have patience right now. Um, I need some meal prep today for my lunches for next week, starting for tomorrow. And then I need to wash dishes. I just... So, we're going to go in the kitchen and handle that now while we make breakfast. 
Let's go. So I just finished making my breakfast. I need to put some lotion on my face. So I fin just finished making my breakfast and I was about to make me some coffee and my mug, Faith, right? And um, it's funny because I don't know if you guys are old school Kirk Franklin, um, his old school earlier songs. But remember that song? Um, I think it's, I don't know if it's called Yes, I Can. But um, I want to be like, because I got faith. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Can I can? Why can if I want it? Yes, I can. Can yes, I can. Yes, I can. Can I can? Why can if I want it? Yes, I can. Can my mug <laughs> faith remind me of that song? I don't know, but we are going to make coffee, and my breakfast is here. I eat some of the same things for breakfast all the time, so, uh, yeah, but anyways, um, I'm going to go into my little office area, and we're going to eat the breakfast, and then we're going to get to work on homework and business, and so, the time is now 10.13, so this is a late morning breakfast, but it's still morning, oh well, um, I do want to try to get out and take a walk with Coco today, and... Yeah, so we'll see how the day go, but she up in here like swim well. She ain't leaving this house today. And I just got a lot of, you just, you know, a lot of work to do. So I'm going to have a talk with you guys in a bit after breakfast so I can get my energy in or whatever. I took my vitamins and I don't know why after I take vitamins, sometimes I feel a little nauseous. And so I have to hurt to get some food in my stomach. So I'll be back to check in with a little chit chat with you guys to talk about how I'm feeling right now and everything. So call y'all back, answer the phone. Breakfast. Coffee. Okay, so it is. 12.59 so it's going on one o'clock and I finished my seven page paper probably I want to say 20-30 minutes ago but what I was doing was um well I finished the first draft right so I think I mentioned in a previous vlog that um once I finished this first draft I needed to go on to the graduate center writing lab um and schedule an appointment with the writing advisor so that way i can make sure that i am on the right path with this paper and so i went ahead and did that i found out how to do that so i scheduled my appointment for this coming wednesday at one o'clock so it's going to be from one one o'clock to 150 there's a time difference for them we're an hour away from each other and so um it's going to be on zoom and i kind of scheduled it because there's no other way around it um and they don't do after hours after four or four four thirty or something like that they don't do after hours so i could only schedule it during my lunch time which that happens. I had to do that a few times last few times last semester. So I scheduled it for my lunch hour. My lunch starts at one. I take the late lunch, which there's a twelve o'clock shift and a one o'clock lunch shift. I take the one o'clock lunch shift because it just works out better for me. Um, so I'm gonna have to figure out and see if I can leave on my lunch about five minutes early. Yeah, leave on my lunch about five minutes early so that way I can get out to um, my car or whatever so that I could quickly get signed on to Zoom and get on to this appointment. Um, and so, yeah, that's going to be, it's going to be a little cray-cray, but... We're going to get it done. Um, so that's for this coming Wednesday. And so what I'm doing right now is I am saving my rough draft 
in a Word document and a PDF. So with the Writing Center, um, you're going to have to share the PDF with them on Zoom. But with the... But when I submit my actual paper to my professor, when I submit the assignment, she only takes Word documents. And so I save them, which I are, I'm already in the habit of saving my stuff both ways in Word and PDF um, because it just works better for me. But yeah, so I just went ahead and saved it as Word and a PDF. And now I am... This is a pro tip now, um, always, even though you saved it, always back a copy up to another device or like for my instance, I always email myself a copy of, um, hold on y'all. Okay, so I just email myself, email myself a copy and I always do that with any of my work, whether it's for school or business or manuscript or whatever, I always email, email myself a copy um, of that. So that way I can have it on the go. If I'm on and about, I'll be able to get work done, necessary work done, so That is done. Okay, so it's one o'clock and I have it listed in my calendar so that way I won't forget, <laughs> you know, because it's easy to forget, boy. And what I'm going to do next is I have a couple more assignments for school. Before I even jump onto any business assignments, I'm going to do one more thing, which is my extra credit assignment. So, let me pull that up. Um... Where is it at? Where is it at? Like stuff be disappearing. This is why I, um, I always email it to myself because I just feel like stuff disappears. You save it on your document. Oh, here it goes. You save it on your document, um, on your USB or whatever, and it just disappears out of nowhere. But anyways, so... I just pulled, put up my extra credit assignment and I halfway did it. Um, well, probably like, I have probably 75% of it that I completed. Um, so, what I am going to do is I'm going to complete this. This shouldn't take me no more than probably like 15, 20 minutes at the most. I'm going to finish completing this. And then I'm going to get out um, what I was talking about the other day in the other vlog. I'm going to get that out and get that all prepared um, because I have to mail it out. And that's part of my extra credit um, assignment. And I want to mail those out and I have to take photos and all that stuff. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I will check back in in a bit. And then we'll be moving on to the next thing. Okay, update. I look truly a mess, but... It is 2.01, and I think it's been an hour since I came on. I'm finished with my extra credit assignment. I submitted that. I'm only waiting for, um, you have to do your original post for your extra credit assignment. And what it is, is you have to choose something um, creative or just something that you want to do for your community, for a friend, for a loved one someone something given back for example one of the girls posted that her and her um line sorority sisters um went out and did uh like gift bags and boxes of um like deodorant water sanitary pads for women um different things like that lotion um you know 
just all that necessity um, stuff that we need just to upkeep ourselves throughout the day. So they got together and they did those type of bags and went and delivered them out to homeless people in the community. And so she posted that and what you have to do is when someone in the class posts what they did, then you have to go back and you have to comment on a minimum of two people, which I'll probably comment on more because I love stuff like this, but you have to comment on a minimum of two people. This extra credit assignment is not due until I think February 13th or something like that. And we're only in we're January 23rd is today. So we got a minute to submit this but she was the first one who posted and did hers quickly so because I saw her post I went ahead and just responded to hers to get my one response post out the way boom right then that was like a week ago nobody else has posted since I went ahead and said let me do mine let me get it out the way and um so I did mine I posted it um on there and then two people have to respond to mine or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Um, well, more people can respond, but, you know, people have to respond to my post. So I went ahead and posted mine with the pictures and everything that I did um, or whatever. Now, I was done with this about 30 minutes ago. It only took about 20, 25 minutes to do it. So I was done. But I was playing around on the computer and I was looking at... Um, the post and making sure that the photos went through and just everything, just making sure just that it was good. So now all I'm waiting is for someone else to post what they did. So that way I can do my final response, excuse me, response post and I'll be done. I'll probably go back and respond to more, but at least I'll have, would have fulfilled the requirements for the extra credit. So what I'm going to do and is, and what I'm mailing off there right here, they already have the stamps on them. So I'm just going to put that there and I'm going to drop it off in the mailbox um, tomorrow after work or on lunch. One of them, I don't know. Um, so we did the response post. I mean, we did the, the post. So the next thing... You know what I should be doing? I don't know why I'm not um, marking it off in my academic calendar. Which, so I keep track of everything. This is just the reason why. So, article critique is the draft is done. So let me make sure I do that. And then extra credit assignment. And I got one of them, one of the responses done. I'm just waiting on, let me highlight that. Waiting on somebody else to post so I can do my final response. Then, um... Got that. Okay, we made the appointment for the academic, for the graduate academic writing center so that I can get that done. So, this is what I'm going to do because here is my academic planner and we are going into next week. Um, next week, so next Saturday, actually, I want to do, um, I'm going to be teaching the class for a week. So, um, I have to prepare for my teaching week. So this is going to be next Saturday. I have to do the slides. I have to do my questions, posts, and teach the class, right? So I'm going to prepare for that for next Saturday. My teaching week isn't until... Um, February-ish, like, towards the middle, I want to say the middle of February or end of February, I don't know, but I'm going to knock that out the, out the water next weekend, which is January 29th, so going into February, I should have my full curriculum and everything for the week done, 
so that way I can post and I can respond and I can teach the week uh, um, for that week and I won't have to worry about it. So that's going to be next Saturday. I'll do that. Um, oh. Plus 400 posts. Plus two responses. Yeah, that's going to be a lot next week. I'm going to have to do a lot next week. So then, um, Monday, Monday, I need to do, hopefully they post already, so I'm going to do the second, um, going to post, um, 200, uh, post, response. See, I have to write it out like this so that way I can stay on track. So that's 100. And then the second 100 post response. So I can see each day what I'm going to do because it can get overwhelming. You know what I mean? So we got part of that. And I'll come back a little later today and really um, map out next week uh, for my homework and everything. But for now, since we already got the draft of the paper done, we did the extra credit assignment, blase, blase, right? The next thing to do, final thing concerning work to do is to, I have to go and do a discussion essay. Um, I think it's only about 400 words. Um, so a discussion essay critiquing, we're talking about an article based on the questions that's posted this week in the class. So for, for next week. And so uh, one of them, are, we have to do two of them. One of them is already posted. The other one, um, they have until Monday, um, tomorrow night to post it also. I'm going to do that one and then I will come back to you guys in a minute and give you an update. Again, it is 2.09. Hopefully I can be done with this by 3 or before 3 um, because I'm going to take a quick break. And then we need to get on some business stuff. Like I have to do a few things for my company, for my publishing company, Dream Loud Ink Publishing, because baby, it's a lot of work to do. So let me get back and to this. Let's 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 get back because right now I'm looking at everything else on my desk that needs to be done. So let me check back in. Under that tree on my long walk today. I step off the path and sit down and lean back against the trunk. Rumor's first tenet was that we act based on the meaning we have given something. I consider the tree as a place to warn me that all trees are infested with ants. Rumor's second tenet was that we give meaning to things based on our social interactions. Okay, so it's been a minute since I checked in. It is now 4.08. Well, sorry, 4.12 now. Dang, four minutes went by quick. Um, but the last time I checked in, I was saying that I was getting ready to, um, I was getting ready to work on the final assignment for today. Um, I have more assignments to do, but I was only limiting them to three, which was my paper, my seven page paper check. The draft is done. Um, the extra credit assignment check done, and then this, uh, discussion essay, which I just finished. So because I just finished and I just went over it, I read through it just to make sure my errors were, um, corrected. Um, I am going to go in and post. Um, I'm about to go in and post it now. And after I post, then I will be done with schoolwork for today. Um, I need to gather my thoughts because I am tired. But I want to do a couple things concerning my business and it is necessary that I do it. 
hold on y'all um, I'm just trying to post it right okay so it to make sure that's in there correctly because the way the professor has it is once you post she don't give you the option to edit other like previous classes that I've had um, when you post, if you find that you made a mistake and you want to go back and correct it, you can do that. You can edit your post, right? Your assignment. But she doesn't give the option. So what you post is what you post. Now you can um, respond underneath your post as a correction, but like, no. So I just want to make sure it's corrected or correct prior to me posting. And it looks like I have everything I need in there. Let me just make sure I did the whole thing. Yep, it was only two parts. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and wait. Let me make sure my reference list is in here. Because you have to cite um, and reference APA 7 um, style. So APA style. And if you don't, you lose points. And I'm posting under the right. Okay. Ooh. Hercules, Hercules. <laughs> okay. Let me tell you something. That assignment is posted. Um, I had to go through this article and just, baby, it's a lot of work. A lot of work. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that off on in my student planner. And. Okay, so this is crazy. Um, so first, hundred posts. Okay. And second, okay, first response, second response. Okay, so then I'm going to mark that off as being done. Yay, so my discussion essay, one of them is done. I have one more, and this is for next week. So starting tomorrow, Monday, this is the work for next week. But you, you guys know how my weeks get really hectic with school um, and work and or just work, my nine to five job and my business. So I try to do as much as I can on the weekend for school work. And after work and so I eliminated having to do one discussion essay um, for next week because I just did it now and then um, the other discussion essay because we have to do two a week um, I can't do it right now because they didn't post it yet and like I said they have until Monday every Monday up until 11 59 p.m. they have until then to post it I hate that they do that. It should be posted by the weekend. So those of us who take advantage of our weekend to get work done, school work done, can get a head start on it. But let me check. Maybe maybe they posted. Maybe she posted. She ain't posted nothing. <laughs> I mean, she still has time to do it. And when I say she, I'm talking about my um, the students. Um, we each have to teach a week. Um, and so right now it is some of my other peers um, week to teach and they have until Monday 11.59 p.m. in order to post the lecture and the essay questions and everything in order for us to do it. And only one of, it's two people, two students who teach a week, only one of the students posted theirs so I was able to get hers out the way. But now I'm waiting for the second student to post hers. And she still has time to post it till tomorrow but it's just beneficial to have it posted now so that I can just get it done. You know what I mean? And I just double checked. I am the first one to post. I'm the first, first one to post my discussion essay, which is great. Get that out of the way.
So that's that's you know what that's posted. So next week I have what I already said, and um, the week after that is the week the extra credit assignment is due. But I already did mine, so I'm just waiting to respond to one more person once they post. On top of all the other stuff. I don't teach until week six. And so I got a couple more weeks before I even teach. But I'm going to prepare for that next weekend. Um, one, two, yeah. A couple weeks. I'll prepare for that next weekend. And then my essay is due the following week after next week. And so that's good. I got that out. I got the draft out the way. And I have my meeting set up with an advisor, a writing advisor, just to make sure I'm on the right path. So that's going to be out the way. It's just you got to stay on track with these classes because if you don't, that's your tail, Mr. Postman. That is your tail. But so I'm not going to even play around with that anymore. I'm going to put this textbook, I'm going to lock and load it up in here. And anytime I rent, or even if I rent, rent or buy my textbooks, I put them in one of these baggies before I put it in my backpack. Because this is a pro tip, because um, if you rent your book, you have to return it back and you don't want to get fined for it. And then if you bought your book and maybe you want to sell it back for money, um, you want to keep it in good condition. So I kind I put all my textbooks in a big size baggie. So that way, that is good. That is good. There's my student planner is good. This is the assignment, my extra credit. I got to mail these off tomorrow. So what I need to do is I need to get up and take a break. Stretch a little bit, go to the bathroom, drink some water, whatever I got to do. Um, and then I'm going to come back to the computer. It is 421. I'm going to come back. Hold on, y'all. So, yeah, after I take my break and everything, I'm going to come back to the computer. It's 422 now. I'm going to come back for probably just an hour because my cutoff time is 637 o'clock. So I got two hours to do anything I need to do before I cut it down for the night. Um, but I will come back to the computer in about half an hour. So we say about five o'clock. Come back to the computer and I'm going to do a couple of things for my business, which I'm so excited. Um, and I need to send out a few emails and just some randomness. It ain't even random. Let me not say that. It's work. But I have to send out a couple of things because I need to clean up my desk because this is like, it's irritating me. But anyways, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and take a break and I will check back in later. I'm just, I, I need to wash my face just to kind of revive me for a minute because I'm just like, it's, it's a lot going on right now. And I've been working all morning, all morning I've been here. So, I'll hit y'all back, okay? Okay, so, it is actually 5.30. Yep, 5.30. I said I was going to come back at 5, but it's 5.30. I forgot when I went to take my little break. I said, mm-mm. I forgot I got a meal prep for work tomorrow. So, that's what I finished doing. I finished meal prepping and I also made me a little bit of food or dinner to eat for tonight. So that way all my meal preps is done for lunches. And then I have dinner that I'm going to eat now. Um, and then my breakfast. I have breakfast sandwiches for in the morning. Something quick to just heat up and eat quick. And then for dinners, I actually have soups and stuff that I'm going to eat next week for dinners already prepped. So that way I'm good on food. Um, yeah, I'm good on food. So this is what I made for my meal preps. Hold on one second. Okay, so this is what I made for my meal preps. Although I do leave my string beans um, 
frozen and when I these particular ones I don't do anything to them I just straight string beans and I don't cook um, cook them down or anything like that but when I get to work um, I'll put a little water in here and then I'll heat them up and they turn out just fine um, and these are just frozen string beans and then I made this is a chicken and veggie medley with fish um, when I buy the other um, other longer string beans, then I actually cook those out and season them or whatever. But these, I don't really care to do that. Um, and then for my dinner, I'm just having a little bit of what I made here. And yeah, and it has chicken and veggies, like carrots. Um, is that broccoli? Yeah, carrots, broccoli and corn um or whatever in it and it's actually this medley right here the garlic chicken so that's it's quick and easy for me to do so that's what i went ahead and made for my lunch preps so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to leave those meal preps out and let them cool down because i just took them out the stove in the oven so I'm going to let those cool down and I brought my food over to my office area and I'm going to eat my dinner and then I'm going to also drink one of these LaCroix, which is just sparkling water, but these things are really good. I, I don't know why um, I like sparkling water so much, but they're really good and it really substitute for soda for me and it gives me that quench my thirst type of vibe or whatever but what I'm going to do is I'm going to eat my dinner here and then I am going to log back onto the computer and do a couple things concerning my business nothing too strenuous but just a few things and then we're going to call it a night by 6 37 o'clock probably before 7 we're going to call it a night and I'm going to take a shower and everything and then I'm going to straight up just watch a movie and relax my brain for the rest of the evening because I have to be up by 4 30 tomorrow for work um so that is it with you know the whole work with me do school work with me and everything um for this weekend and next weekend we'll be back again but this is how it's been going for me lately you know, I'm kind of thirsty, so. But yeah, this is how it's been going for me lately. And I absolutely, I'm tired, but oh well, such is life. It kind of tastes like, a see, it make you burp. It kind of tastes like a low calorie Sprite. Just a little bit. This one is the lemon flavor. And I have the... I'm all out of the peach. I think I got one left for the peach. But I have to find them again because the store that I go to are out of them and they haven't restocked. I just so happen to find some of the lemon ones there. But they've been out for a while. So I'm going to have to go to the bigger grocery store to stock up on a couple of cases of those. Because it really helps me out to not drink soda like that. I think I had one soda probably a couple weeks ago and that's because I had gotten something while I was out but I don't buy soda in my house I don't buy it um yeah so let me eat my food while it's hot and then we are going um turn this computer back on um and then we are going to work on a couple things concerning the business but let me see what do I got to work on um the art author kit so I need to finish up the author kit because that's about 90% done oh that's about 90% done, so I'm gonna just knock the rest of it out tonight. I'm gonna be done and I'm gonna forward it to 
one, one of my partners in the business so that she can have an update on it. But that shouldn't take me long at all. I just need to list a couple of resources on there. So that's what we're going to do. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. But yeah, I'll check back in with you guys one more time. What I really want to do is take a bath. Like, I haven't really taken a good, soaky type of bath where I just lay there in the bath. And so, I haven't done that in a minute. So, I really want to do that tonight. So, maybe. And then I have to figure out my nail situation. I don't think I'm going to go back to my nail place anymore. Because they keep going up on their prices. And they went up a lot. The last time I was there for a feel. It was ridiculous. So. I need to find a different place. Or take them off. I don't know. I think I want to keep them up though. And just find a different place. But. Anyway. I'll check back in when I. For in a minute. Okay, so I just finished the author kit. It turned out great. <laughs> it is 6, 11 p.m. As you can see, it's dark outside now. <laughs> it gets dark at 5 o'clock. Um, so I finished the author kit. And I mailed that off. Well, mailed it off. I emailed it to one of my partners. Um, so that they can have an update on what that looks like. It's way better. And so we got that out of the way. And I thought that I wanted to do one more thing towards the business before I call it a night. Because I really think that I am going to go ahead and just uh, take a bath and soak tonight. But we are going to mark the author kit off. And the media kit was already done about a week ago or a few days ago. Um, I needed to... Um, let's see. So I need to email the videographer. Um, the only thing like that is I'm supposed to send him an example uh, video of how I want my introductory video to look like. And it's kind of hard to send an example because it's in my head and I haven't seen one that matches up to my expectations <laughs> you know so with that being said I'm going to look right quick to see if um, I can look back at some of the other ones that I already viewed and see if um, they're somewhat within the theme that I want and then just outline it but if not then I don't know I need to I need to send that to him because going into the work week starting tomorrow I want that off my conscious and I want the videographer to be working on it because I have another video that has to get put up and I'm going to be editing that one. And so, so let me figure this out and hmm, I already ate my dinner. Let me finish, figure this out and I will be back. Okay, so <clears throat> it's 6.32. <clears throat> I just sent the specifications to my videographer to um, let him know, like, the style of video that I want. I even sent him a sample. I was able to locate one. And then also um, all the details for my company. I sent him all that information. Uh, and 
hopefully I can get him to working on this within a day or two so that we can get this done by the end of next week or the end of this week we're going into. And that'll be something I can check off my list. When we moving, we moving, <laughs> we doing it. Um, I'm not going to even attempt to do this part right now, but I have to edit another video for my, for uh, another project that I'm working with, um, for an organization. And I have about a couple weeks to finish it. So I'm not going to worry about doing it now. I've been working all day since this morning, literally. And I am tired. When I say I'm tired, I'm tired. So what I'm going to do, it is 6.33 now. I'm going to shut it down for the night. Um, okay, so let me check off that I sent the video information to the videographer. And yeah, so we got just about everything we needed to get done today. Next weekend, next weekend, I have not even listed my to-do list for next weekend, but I'll do that a little bit later in the week because things change and I might be able to get some of this done during the week. Um, but I know next week, weekend, 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 I know next weekend I will be um, preparing for my teaching week that I have to actually teach the class. I'll be preparing for that and doing my lecture and everything. So, with that being said... We are going to shut it down for the night. 6.30 for now. I'm right on schedule. I said my cutoff time is between 6.37. I think I said that or 6 or 7. I know it was up to 7. But anyways, I'm going to shut it down for the night. I am going to finish wiping down the kitchen and everything. I'm going to put my meal preps. It should be cooled off by now. I'm going to put those all in the fridge. And I have everything ready for in the morning. I'm going to get out when I'm aware to work tomorrow. And then I'm going to run me a bath and soap because I feel like it's necessary. It is necessary. And I'm going to be in that bath for about an hour. <laughs> and then hopefully I can um, get out and be cool out the bath by, let me see, it's 6.30. So I should be in the bath by 7. So about 8, we'll say. Give myself some time. I don't want to rush. So about 8 o'clock, and then when I get out that bath, I'm just going to unwind and de-stress and just lay in the bed. I'm not, I'm tired, but I'm not like sleepy, sleepy, so I just want to lay in the bed and just don't do nothing. And I might watch a short, short movie or something. Um, you know, sometimes they have like short documentaries or I know Harlem. Harlem on Netflix, I know it's something that I've been wanting to watch with Making Good, and I've been hearing the reviews about it, so maybe I'll get into that and watch an episode. Um, but somebody said it's addicting, so maybe I won't watch it because maybe I want to watch more. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to just close out the vlog um, because I've been very productive, and it's time for me to unwind and go to bed. And my supervisor emailed me or texted me a few minutes ago. I have to come to work half an hour early um she asked me if I can and so sure because I mean I get to leave half an hour early <laughs> so um yeah let's let's go you know what you guys have a wonderful night morning evening day whenever you are watching this thank you so much for kicking it with me throughout my Sunday of a lot of school work um a lot of business work meal prep just just work 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 thank you guys so much for chilling with me i will see you guys on the next video talk to you soon bye for now